Peter. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm with the U.S. Overseas Private Investment Corporation, which is the U.S. government's development bank. So I come at this from a both a finance perspective, a lender's perspective, and also from an economic development perspective. But before I talk about that, I want to just back up and make a few broad points. Um, one is that the U.S. government is very interested in helping Africa develop economically. Um, if you look at the U.S. Agency for International Development, uh, the Millennium Challenge Corporation, uh, the U.S. Trade and Development Agency, and then OPIC as a financier, what we're trying to do is work with the U.S. private sector to mobilize capital and skills and develop um, the local economy in infrastructure, but also in, in other sectors. Uh, on local content requirement, that's really an issue for our trade representative. Um, but OPIC is prohibited from supporting projects that have certain performance measures. And so while as a development agency, we love local content, and most of our project sponsors do, um, when there's an actual requirement, which I think we can talk about, um, how, how uh, different countries approach <laughs> local content, when there's a requirement, we're prohibited from supporting that project. So we work very hard with um, in the energy sector with the off-taker, for example, if it's a state-owned uh, off-taker, which is mainly the case, um, to encourage them to have as much flexibility in the local content uh, policies that they have so that uh, we, while the investor is bringing the skills, uh, the technology to the project, and of course all of the local employment uh, and the economic development that accrues as a result of that investment, um, they also need to be able to have that project financed over the long term. And if you have policies that make it difficult for development finance institutions like OPIC to lend to the project, then there's going to be, there's going to be an issue of finding sufficient long-term capital to support projects in the infrastructure sector. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Peter. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.